third graders. We are going to continue on with our Wayne Tebow project. Um, remember that we were working on drawing a gumball machine. Today, what we are going to do is use one of the elements of design, value, to begin coloring in our gumball machine as well as the gumballs that are inside the machine. So just a little bit of a reminder about value. Value in art is when we talk about going from light to dark. So you might start with white and add a little teeny tiny bit of black to it and get a very light gray and then add a little more black and it becomes a darker gray and a darker gray and a darker gray until you get all the way to black. So we are going to be adding value into our project, the lights, the darks, and everything in between to add value to our project to make it look more realistic and more three-dimensional. So like it kind of pops out of your paper. Um, I'm going to do that coloring demonstration in just a second. Okay, so I have sharpied everything. I used a thick sharpie, which if you used a quarter for your gumballs, you could also use a thick sharpie. If you used anything smaller, you might wanna use the thin one. Um, and then I am going to use colored pencils to color. First thing I'm gonna do is kind of think about what colors I wanna use for the um, uh, the actual like base of the gumball machine. A lot of times I, at least from what I remember when I was a kid, I guess I don't see a lot of gumballs any, gumball machines anymore, but what I remember from when I was a kid is that they are red. Now, if you wanna choose a different color, that is completely fine with me, but you're going to nice and neatly color your gumball machine in trying really hard to color in one direction and stay in the lines. Now notice I do trace around the outside first and when I do that, I am coloring in a couple directions. Okay, so I would color that in and I would also color this in. Now what I want you to notice when I get to the, the bottom part is that when I get over here, I'm going to try to leave it white. Um, I shouldn't say white, but very, very light red. And I'll do that quick so that you can see kind of what I'm talking about. So it's actually almost like a pink color. And then what I am going to do is gradually start pushing a little bit harder. And I'm going kind of way too fast right now. And then a little bit harder until I'm pushing fairly hard when I get over to this side. Now, I'm going fast because of the demonstration and I don't want this video to be too long. And you can see it when I go fast, I kind of make some mistakes. So I don't want you to go as fast as I'm going, okay? Now, when I mix colors or blend or do value like I'm doing right now, I do sometimes color in more than one direction. So what I'm doing right now is kind of fading the, the darker red into the lighter <clears throat> so that it's not a distinct line where it goes from light to dark, okay? And I would do that same thing over here. What I'm also going to do over here on the left side is add a little bit of black because if the light is hitting on this side, it's going to be light on this side and get darker on the opposite side, okay? So I'll grab my black quick, and I'm not pushing hard when I do this, just very gentle, very lightly. I will add a little bit of black and just kind of fade that out. 
like this. Now, if you have like metallic colors in a bigger set, you, it would be cool to use silver in here. Otherwise, you can use a gray um, for your, your um, gumballs. You're going to want to use typical gumball colors. So blues, pinks, you can leave some of them white. And what I want you to do on your gumballs is just make like a banana shape, kind of following the out, outline of your gumball and leave that part white. That is going to be just like th this up here so it looks like a reflection or, like, whoa, my dog. Oh, sorry guys, like the light is hitting it. So you would do this over and over with all sorts of different colors of gumballs. Fill them in really, really well. I'm sorry about the barking. And you would keep going until you're done with that. Now you have plenty of time to do this. It's not going to be due next time, so just take your time. When you're done coloring all of the gumball machine, you'll color the background and the table or the wall and the table. And I will talk to you more about that later. If you have any questions, please let me know.